The pandemic has only increased the threat of lead poisoning, with so many kids spending more time in these hazardous homes where lead paint lurks. There is funding to help low-income families fix the problem, but another issue has been the pandemic's impact on efforts to prevent lead poisoning. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran spoke with the Lead Resource Center's medical director about it. The shutdown in 2020 impacted children beyond the classroom. Doctors who screened for lead poisoning said they weren't able to see as many patients last year. Kids weren't coming to the office as much and, you know, we can do telehealth uh, to, to deal with some things, but we can't test someone's blood across the across the Zoom, Zoom window, unfortunately. With children spending more time indoors, another concern is exposure to lead. We're worried that some of those kids that were already at risk have been at more risk in the past year just because they haven't been able to go outside or go to, uh, to, to do the things that they would normally do. According to the CDC, 10,000 children with elevated blood lead levels were missed because of decreased testing. Dr. Hobart says that doesn't surprise him due to the circumstances. He said the higher numbers typically occur in the summer and fall because that's when windows and doors are opened and closed more often. But he's seeing elevated levels already. So far in 2021, we've already had, uh, I want to say, three kids in the hospital, three or four kids in the hospital that have been chelated, and we're only in you know, end of March. So, so it's definitely, that's not usually when we see the kids um, in the hospital. Although Dr. Hobart says he can't say for sure, there could possibly be a connection between higher levels and spending more time at home. If you do have a concern, there are things you can do if you are in an older home. Try to keep keep kids away from any place that if there's paint that's chipping or flaking off, um, keep the kids away from that because that might that paint might be old and might have lead in it. He says repeatedly opening and closing doors with lead paint can create dust. So instead of sweeping it, Dr. Hobart suggests cleaning it with a wet cloth or mop. Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9.